your mindset is the most important asset that you have for your business success. So you do not want to make one of these seven mistakes. Hi, my name is Sandy Sinden. In case we haven't met, I help female entrepreneurs fast track their business growth so that they can hand in once and all their final resignation and create the life freedom that they're looking for. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's dive in. What are the mistakes that you want to avoid at all costs? One, avoid negative self-talk. If you are telling yourself a bunch of crap, guess what you're going to get? A bunch of crap. Our subconscious mind does not know the difference between the truth and reality. So why in God's name would you ever give your subconscious a bunch of crap? You need to be kind to yourself and you need to be feeding it with positive self-talk. Number two, not seeking new knowledge. We're new in entrepreneurship or maybe you've been in it for a little while, but you don't know everything. So rather than trying to just figure it out, you're going to have to continue to learn. You're going to have to perhaps buy some courses. You're going to have to go to some workshops. You're going to have to learn different things that maybe you've never done in your nine to five, but now it's being asked of you as an entrepreneur. Number three, resisting change. This is a big one. We are like creatures of habit and we do not want to change. Well, when you are building a side hustle while working your nine to five, they're very different. And there's going to be things as you're building that are going to require you to change. Perhaps you, you tend to like to, to do what you feel is secure. Well, entrepreneurship, it, it's not always secure. You have to take risks. You have to do things differently. So you have to be willing to change if you want to actually grow. Fourth is procrastination and self-discipline. I am so guilty of the self, uh, the procrastination. I will wait till the last minute to do anything. Well, that doesn't always work when you're the only one building your business at the beginning and, and sometimes for a while. You've got to be self-integral to yourself. If you say you're going to do something, do it. You have to be self-disciplined. So if you know that for you, it's hard to sit for an hour straight, then block out like 15 minute blocks and have a, a specific tactic or task that you want to get done in that 15 minute. But you have to be disciplined to get it done because people are going to expect if you say you're going to deliver something, they're going to expect that you deliver. So make sure that you're being accountable to yourself. Number five, fear of failure. We all have it. We've been taught to think that failure is this bad thing and oh my goodness, if you get an F on a paper, that's like the worst thing you could ever do. But when you're in business, failure is success. It means you are growing, you are evolving. So expect it. You're going to have failure. That's just part of building a business. Number six is overthinking and paralysis analysis. I am the thinker, overthinker, overthinker. I have to analyze everything. You cannot do that when you're building a business. You've got to take action, make decisions. If you try to analyze and overanalyze and wait till everything's perfect, it's never going to happen. So let it go. Seventh is probably one of the most deadly, and that is comparing yourself to others. You are in your own race. Nobody else's. You don't know where somebody else has been. Maybe they've had way more training. Maybe they grew up with parents who have been entrepreneurs. They know far more than you do. So if you sit there and compare yourself, maybe you meet somebody and you guys, you know, started at a workshop at the same time or whatever, and you watch their business skyrocket and your business, like that happened to me. I was in a workshop with um, a mother daughter team and I watched them take their business to seven figures while I sat there and did nothing. But I had my own journey to be on. If I had continued to watch and, and compare myself and let that stop me, I would have quit. But you're on your own journey. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. If you can consistently think about these seven things and don't allow yourself to fall into the traps, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and a lot of heartache. 
And if you're looking for someone to help you, I'm so excited to announce that I am launching my beta program called the Escape the 9 to 5, where I'm going to help you break through all that crap. I'm going to teach you how to market your business. I'm going to teach you how to get sales. And I'm doing it in an amazing brand new program, Escape the 9 to 5. You can go to www.leavethe9-5. That's leavethe9-5.com. And I will look forward to seeing you on the inside.